Hi, this is Jeff LaFriends, field agronomist in eastern Iowa. Been evaluating some alfalfa fields this past week and wanted to share with you some of the observations that I've made that may help you as you're scouting your alfalfa fields. Here's a video I took of a field that I was in recently and, and I'm obviously I'm looking for regrowth on this new uh, alfalfa as it wakes up over the winter. But what really captured my attention was the extra growth right along the field edge. I suspect the additional snow cover from drifts protected this uh, alfalfa right along the field edge from the extreme uh, cold that we had this past winter. So I want to focus my efforts on more what's happening on inside the field, but I am going to compare it to the alfalfa plants with additional regrowth right on the field edge to show you a comparison. Here are four plants that I dug. The first one on the left is from that field border where the green regrowth was the most. The second and third plants had some additional regrowth, just not as much as along the field edge. And the fourth plant here on the right is showed very little regrowth. And when I dug the roots and split it, definitely had a different look. Okay, so when we start looking at the first plant, the one on the left that had the most regrowth, this was right along that field edge where it was a little more protected with snow had nice regrowth, the root system was white in appearance. I saw some new white shoots or stems coming up from the crown. That plant was obviously looking good. The next two plants, the ones in the middle of this picture, showed some regrowth. I liked that the regrowth was symmetrical, meaning I found it uh, uh, the regrowth coming all over the plant, just not on one side of it. That's a good sign. The root systems were firm, maybe a little yellower than that root system on the left, but still looked okay. I think these plants need to be watched for additional growth, but I think they're gonna be all right. The plant on the right was the one that showed the little, uh, the smallest amount of regrowth. When I dug the plant up, split the stem, the root system was soft, the most discolored. I would say this plant's probably uh, not gonna survive and we won't count this as a good one in our stand evaluation. The last picture that I'm showing you here is from another field. It was a five-year-old stand that had very little regrowth coming. And you can see the picture on the left, just not a whole lot uh, of new green coming. And when I split the stem, notice the amount of crown rot on this, the darker colored areas of this root system and crown. And then when I see the root system is a little softer and with that darkness, uh, these also are plants that probably aren't gonna make it. So what's the bottom line is, we really are gonna need to count stems to determine yield. We're probably a little early for that yet, but when we do, here when we get maybe four to six inches worth of regrowth, it's stems that we're looking for. Probably the key number is that we need at least 40 stems per square foot to keep that stand. Maybe a few less you can get by with if you've got grass in seeded with the, uh, with the alfalfa. So we want to evaluate these and understand what's going on as soon as we can to make sure that a field doesn't need to be torn up and maybe put a new crop. But we do need to give a little bit more warmth and time to see what these stems and how this regrowth is, is coming along. So hopefully that helps you as you're evaluating your alfalfa fields. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.